So today on the Beam channel, I wanted to talk about why you should use Erlang or Elixir instead of just implementing an actor model in a language like say C++. And this is based on the question on Stack Overflow. But before I get into that, I wanted to say that if you have a desire to get started with Erlang and Elixir and would like some help, I do training courses for teams around the world. Please give me a shout. There's a Calendly link below. So why not just create an actor implementation in C++? Well, you can. I mean, people do it. People have done it. People need to do it. And maybe that's right. But it turns out there's a lot of subtlety beyond just passing messages around that you have to get into to get things the way Erlang does them with the reliability. So the first of all is in Erlang, you have a lot of isolation. Since everything is immutable, which you can't enforce in C++ as far as I know, you can pass information around and not worry about something changing it. There's no locks or mutexes. There's also the issue of fairness. The Erlang runtime counts the number of reductions, which is basically just function calls, or operations that each process does. It says, okay, 2,000 reductions, process one stop, process two go. 2,000 reductions, process two stop, process three go, and so on. It also implements things like work stealing. So if one of your cores gets really busy and another core is really not busy, it'll automatically move things from one, the busy core to the not busy core. It also makes network systems easy. You can pass an message between two processes on the same node or different nodes. You don't even have to know the code doesn't care. It just looks the same. Yet another thing is fault detection. The Erlang runtime is very specially made so that links, links and monitors so that if a process dies, if there's an error for whatever reason, uh, could be something as simple as a bug in the code or a hard drive fills up or whatever, that other processes can automatically be made aware via links and monitors that that happened. So those are among the aspects, there are other ones too, of why the Erlang runtime is better than simply writing your implementation in C++. I mean, fundamentally, if you were to write your own actor model in C++, this goes back to Greenspun's 10th law about Lisp, but you'd end up writing a slow, buggy implementation of half of Erlang anyway. Why would you want to do that? Just use the one that's out there. The Erlang runtime has been around for 30 years. It's very well maintained. It's been used in some very high demand, high performance system, you know, high concurrency systems, including WhatsApp, telephone switches, and so on. Why would you want to recreate that from scratch when a huge amount of resources from many companies has gone into engineering a publicly available system? Don't reinvent the wheel. It's really a lot of work. You don't want to do that. Just use what's out there. If I can help you and your team get started in Erlang and Elixir, please feel free to give me a shout. Uh, you can find a Calendly link below.